Okay, so this patient had an injury while running and they had an MRI which showed a tear of the peroneus brevis tendon. There's two tendons, the peroneus brevis, which comes here and hooks to this bone, and the longus, which comes underneath here and hooks to this bone. He also has a very high arch foot, and so patients with high arch feet tend to have a lot of stress on these tendons and tears and de degeneration of those tendons are very common. So we're gonna make an incision here and we'll see what we see and we'll uh, take care of that. All right. Okay. So we'll make an incision over the course of the perineal tendons here. There's a nerve in this region called the, the sural nerve, which we will protect. It is actually right here. Right here, down in here. So we'll make sure that is out of the way. See it right here? That's the sural nerve. So we'll protect that throughout the case. Here are the perineal tendon sheaths, so we'll make a get into the perineal tendon sheaths here of the longest and the brevis. And you can see already he has a lot of fluid that's coming out of the tendon sheaths, which is indicative of a issue. Here is one of the perineal tendons here. And you can see how it is very, very thickened. Okay, so here is the perineus longus, which tends to be under much more stress in high arch patients. And you can see how it is very thickened and has this hypertrophied or inflammatory tenosynovium surrounding the tendon and has this thickening and a tear that starts here, right in here. See another pickup? Right here. So we will clean that tear up. And then here is the perineus longus, or perineus brevis, excuse me. And you can see this overall looks okay. It's a little bit beat up and there's this little accessory band or tear of the, looks like actually a tear of the perineus longus, which we'll, we'll clean up as well. And patients that have very uh, torn perineus longus or it's too torn to fix, will actually just tie the perineus longus to the perineus brevis. And we call that a tenodesis. And especially for high arch feet, that works out uh, pretty well. Okay, so let's go. So we will cut out some of this redundant inflammatory tissue here. We'll pull this down. Another thing that's very common to high arch patients is what we call a enlarged perineal, perineal tubercle, which is this big old pump of bone and that can be painful, so we'll, uh, we'll remove that enlarged perineal tubercle as well. And here's a tear of that, that longus, so we'll go ahead and cut that out now.
inflammatory tissue that it will cut out. More inflammatory tissue. Ranger. Now we will remove this enlarged perineal tubercle right here. So it's no longer impinging on the perineals. And then we'll smooth that out with our little rasp here. the perineus longus and you can see it has this tear from here to here so the tear isn't bad enough necessarily to tenedis meaning to tie it to the breast but what we'll do is we'll debride or clean this tear out and repair that tear so scuffle Clean this to a good edge, and then we will repair that tear there. It's much better. Okay, you got the fiber. And so for these repairs of these tendons, we prefer to use a non-absorbable type suture. So typically for these repairs, we'll do a running stitch. with a non-absorbable suture.
Okay, so you can see the repaired tendon here. It's much better. You take the hind foot through a range of motion. And it tends to glide pretty well, so you should be much better with that. Now we'll just clean up some of this residual inflammatory tissue and clean up the skin, and then typically we'll keep them non-weight bearing for three weeks and then let them walk in a boot for three weeks and then get them into a brace and some physical therapy and increase activity from there.